The eye is only about one inch in length, but it is our window to our world through the sense of vision. The transparent lens on the ocular surface is the cornea, and this is covered by the tear film, which is a vital component to good vision, despite being only one-tenth of the thickness of a human hair. It is made up of three principal layers. The oily lipid layer on the top prevents evaporation. The bulk is the aqueous watery layer, and it is held on the ocular surface by the mucin and glycocalyx. The tear film functions include allowing us to see clearly between blinks, with each blink restoring clear vision if the tear film is drying up, removal of loose debris that falls on the ocular surface, fighting infection with antimicrobial agents it contains, and keeping the surface cells hydrated, restoring the transparency of the cornea and maintaining the comfort of the tissues which the most nerves per square millimetre in your body. So how can dry eye be caused? Well, along with ageing and hormonal changes, dry eye can be caused by environmental conditions such as wind and sun, preservatives in eye drops and non-optimal contact lenses, and even staring at digital devices. So what does research tell us about the underlying process that causes dry eye disease? Tear evaporation leads to tear loss, which increases the osmolarity or saltiness of the tear film this causes inflammation of the ocular surface, which leads to damage, which destabilizes the tear film still further, leading to a vicious cycle of disease. Hence, dry eye is not a short-term condition. Our recent research starts at the cellular layer, showing that the saltiness of the tear film, as it increases, the ocular surface becomes more susceptible to UV light damage. We have designed and validated new instruments to better diagnose the disease, some for opticians and optometrists, and others that can be used in pharmacies or even at home, such as this app. You just answer a few questions and stare at the screen, timing until your eyes first feel uncomfortable. We have also developed and validated treatments, such as masks you heat in the microwave to allow the eyelid glands to restore the lipid oil layer of the tear film, and nano-thickness coatings to maintain the good health properties of the contact lens while creating a more slippy surface, increasing their comfort. So do come to the Royal Society exhibit if you can and be part of live ongoing research to make sure that there is not a dry eye in the house and beyond.